Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing channel. I decided to do a new series on my channel about the theme how to spearfish, spearfishing techniques. So in the following I'm gonna explain in every series um, one single aspect of the spearfishing hunt. If you have any ideas um, of further themes and things I did good or false, um, please let me know in the comments and leave a like. Today we talked about the theme hole hunting. Hole hunting is a technique for spearfishing where you need to pay a lot of attention to your environment, to every single stone formation, every single hole on the ground. Besides normal stone formations, wrecks, shipwrecks or shipwrecks can build good caves for grouper, moray eel, octopus, conger and so on. So always check out shipwrecks when you see them. Here you can see an undersized grouper, but you can really good study the behavior of the fish. When you scare away him, he always goes to the same entrance of his home cave. And if you want to shoot him and he run away and you couldn't find him in the cave, just leave the area and come back later. So he will be around the same cave. When I shot this parakeet fish, this murray eel instantly shot out beneath this rock. So think about it. If you have a flashlight and look under stones, there's a lot of animal life going on. There's fish like conger, eels, groupers. So always have a look under stones and into caves. When you shoot a fish under a rock like this one, it often happens that the arrow is stuck under a stone. So open up the reel, dive up, get some fresh air and recover first before you retract the arrow. So get some fresh air, dive down, grab the arrow and push it a little bit forward if possible and then turn it so the barb turns around and turns away from the stone and often you can retract your arrow like this very easy. In this video I hunted after this parakeet fish and he flew away in this crack. Uh, beyond this crack there is a steep wall going down 30 meters. So this is a really good crack to check. I dive down to check if I can see the parakeet fish and instantly saw inside a big grouper. I couldn't get the chance to give him a shot so he just ran down deeper in his hole and it was impossible for me to get him out there. So what I did, I searched first for another exit of the cave system and checked it there again for the grouper because perhaps they're going down deeper in the system to the other exit and when you're lucky you can see them on the other side. So this wasn't the case so I decided to go on spearfishing and remember this hole. After 15 minutes of diving I just came back to the same spot. They relax after a little bit of time come out of their caves and you get a second chance. 15 minutes later I just dive down at the exact crack without seeing anything and there he was. I just give him a clean shot and it was really easy to pull him out of this crack. So what you can learn from this just have endurance, mark your spots in your brain and just come back after a little bit of time. These fish are local fish, they stay in the same spot. This is an older video but you can learn a lot from it. If you can see there is a collection of shells in front of this cave. There is living a big fat octopus in it. When you see a collection of shells, crayfish shells or even 
unnatural colored stone collections always check these caves because um, there's living something in there often crustaceans and octopus have a clean courtyard in front of their cave so always have a look for unnatural clean areas so when you got this octopus in this cave just try to drag him down drag him out with your spear and try to grab him by hand that's the easiest way Finally, my buddy managed it to pull this massive octopus out of his cave and he gave us a really really good dinner. And all this just because I saw these glittering seashells from 10 meters at the surface and thought 3 or 4 that's not normal, better check it and see it was a great octopus who ate all these shells. This last video shows how easy it is to see where the animals are living when you understand it. I can see a courtyard from the lobster from the surface. This clean area at the bottom tells me that something is living there. And when you dive down, you can see the lobster in his cave. He cleans the area in front of his cave so it is unnaturally right at the surface. So if you learned a little bit from this video, please, please give me a thumbs up and comment for the next episodes if you have any further ideas. I would be very happy. Thank you and goodbye.